Hello, and welcome to Abstract and Flow. I want to thank you all for watching. Today, we're going to do a straight pour inspired by Sarah Mack, one of my favorite pour YouTubers. So, today I use for my paints Artist Loft Phyllo Blue. I use some Arteza Shocking Line Deco Arts Glorious Gold Artist Loft Turquoise, which I mix with a little black to uh, get it a little darker. I use some Liquitex Light Portrait Pink mixed with this little paint here, which is a orange yellow. And I got it in a paint set. So there's really no um, brand name for it. For my white, I mixed Amsterdam, a little bit of satin enamel, it's about two tablespoons, some Floetrol, and Artist Loft White. Um, there was some Artist Loft White and Floetrol, about maybe this much already in the cup, so I just added to it. So, let's get started. We're going to make our puddle right here in the middle. And that's just going to uh, give the paint that we pour something to hold on to. <clears throat> Got my handy dandy tweezers here. Catch any Floetrol boogies that I may have missed. Okay. And we're going to torch. Make sure we get all those little pesky air bubbles. So, my paints are already mixed up in the cup. And let's get to pouring. Say a little prayer. We have a beautiful outcome. Here we go. I just love to watch the paint pour out the cup. All right, we're going to tilt our cup back just a little so that we can get an even stream. And I like to do a little jiggle back and forth 
as we get to the end. That's really going to give us some cool effects as we're swishing her around. I'm almost there. I think my table is a little uneven because I already see we're moving around a little bit. Now we're going to try to catch so we don't have any drips. All right. So, here we go. We're going to move a little to the right. And let's center a little bit. Let's go this way. And this way. All right. Now, let's get some of those pesky air bubbles. got to mention this video is coming to you raw and uncut so when I post it what you see is what you get because girlfriend has not found an editing program that she likes so don't complain if I did something wrong did something you don't like This is just how it's going to go today. All right, let's try to get some of this paint down to this corner without losing our beautiful center, which I am kind of loving. Now let's move it back. <coughs> Sorry if you can't see that. You're gonna come towards me now. And let's see. Let's go up this way to that corner. back this way so I really don't want to lose this right here so let's try to keep some of that we gotta make it over to that corner baby roll roll baby
corner. Let's try to keep some of that green on the corner. And let's get you back to center. We can do that. All right. I think I am loving this. What do you think? Yes. That is a good pour. Most definitely. Uh, let's make sure all our corners are covered. And we want to make sure that you rub your fingers along the edge and get any paint that is dripping down because that is, is what's going to make your paint still want to move off the edges. Okay. Again, I want to thank you all for joining me today. I think uh, she turned out really nice. Let me know what you think in the comments. Happy pouring and hope to see you again.